let's just continue on here with the old damn standard around the fingernail line and then we'll come in underneath I'm going to inflate just a little bit around the base of the nail. Maybe fill that out just a little bit. And then using flatten, we'll just relax some of that bubbly stuff happening kind of around the edge there. And there's going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve on the front. And clean this up a little bit. I'm going to jump to a different image in the reference. Come over and take a look at this one right here. So it looks like that nail is probably a little bit too long. So I'm going to drop it down a couple subdivisions and just kind of shrink it. And then come back over here with flatten and work on that transition between the soft, squishy, smashed finger skin and the relatively inflexible fingernail. And just get in here and maybe clean up that finger just a little bit. You can come over here with damn standard. So I'm going to kind of carve that feature in just a little bit, start figuring out what's going on with it. And then I'll use the inflate brush. I don't really know what's going on with it beyond, beyond that. It probably doesn't connect there. So we can just use the uh, flatten 404 to relax that area a little bit because that's the muscle and that's some that's some vein thing and you're just probably not actually related. There's another vein happening up here. I'm actually gonna see if I can zoom out and get a little bit of a better idea. So that's probably this gigantic thing here. It's like an earthworm. So we'll swing back around. We can kind of see where this guy's happening. Grab that flatten brush and clean this up quickly. And carve this area down just a little bit with damn standard. And then we'll use the inflate brush kind of up here. Feels about right. And then doesn't seem, there we are. That's the shot I'm looking for. This one right here. Tap the Z key, and hop over to the other hand. And I'll just use flatten here. kind of get these things looking a little bit better and you can see that that boundary there beneath the uh, between the thumb that I had and that vein doesn't really exist that prominently but we can see now what this vein is doing 
So we can kind of dial that in. And this is just using the inflate brush. It seems like there's a tendon here, probably the back of that thumb. It seems to be a little bit further back than what I've got. So we'll just carve it back. You know, again, one of the reasons why it is really a good idea to wait on the finer detail stuff because you're definitely going to learn things as you go and it will be necessary to eliminate what you've done potentially. So I've got this bulgy thing right here that I'm not seeing over there. So I'm going to probably just try to even it out a little bit. We can carve down there and we can add a little bit more here just to try to get it a little bit more consistent. Another thing that is a very, very good idea if you are looking for feedback is to just show your stuff to anybody else that happens to be nearby. Even if they don't know anything about ZBrush, they're going to be able to point you in the right direction as far as like where you might have missed something. It's very, very easy to get sort of blindness to your own mistakes. You just don't even notice it. But, you know, friends and family are pretty good at having those things pop out to them. And they can communicate. The thumb is too big or the position of the fingernail is odd or whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and get this fingernail on the thumb here. Or I guess when it's on the thumb we call it the thumbnail. So just use the uh, the alternate form of the damn standard where it pulls up rather than makes that little groove there. Just using the flatten brush here. I grab the move brush and I just want to kind of soften soften that corner there a little bit, and then we'll use inflate. Go ahead and add that little extra pile of skin around the end of the finger. Whoops, we grab flatten. All right. So uh, I still think there needs to be some uh, extra development kind of between the fingers and uh, the wrist here needs to be cleaned up. So we will. I'll probably take a look at that stuff in the next video.